Hello everybody, welcome to The Millennial Investor. Today I'm going to be showing a highly requested tool here on the E-Trade app. It's called a trailing stop loss. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it today. Uh, for reference, if you aren't familiar with the trailing stop loss, I'm going to be making a follow-up video comparing the difference between a stop limit and a trailing stop loss. So we're going to kind of show you how to do it here and then I'll kind of elaborate on what it's about and what it's for in another video. Here we are on the E-Trade app on a stock page. So you can typically just look through your portfolio, whatever you're going to be using. And uh, in this case, this is also a good tool for trading. Uh, what we've got here opened up is the Microsoft stock. So you can see here typical uh, information everywhere. At the top, you've got the trade button. That's what we're going to click. And we're going to scroll down to order type and we're going to go to sell. And then of course you have the quantity, you know, however many stocks you want to use this tool with. Then at price type, here's where it gets different. Instead of a typical limit or a stop on quote for a stop loss, we're going to do trailing stop. Now you can see there's two options. There's by dollars and there's by percent. And they're going to work to execute the same final result basically of setting a limit to how much a stock will go down uh, before your order will be executed. So we're just going to do dollars here for simplicity. It's gonna look the same percentage wise and we're going to go good for day and we're going to put $5. So where does this put us? Well, the stock will keep going up let's say and it'll keep going up to let's say 230 or actually uh, 290. Um, what happens with the trailing stop is it's going to shift with the price momentum upwards. So let's say at the moment where we've got it here, at the least, we're going to sell. You can see the bid 285.35, we'll use that as our reference. At the most, you will sell, or at the least, you will sell for 280.35. Now, let's say the stock goes up to 300. Well, because it's a trailing stop loss, it has followed that trend line uh, upwards. So if the stock is suddenly $300 and it decides to go down to 295 because you have your stop value set at $5, that's when it'll execute. So you're limiting the amount that the stock will go downwards, but you follow the trend upwards. So you wanna hold it while it keeps going up and then sell once it kind of gains some momentum downward, for example. And once again, this can be done, we'll switch over to percentage here and we'll put something like 1%, for example. And that'll be good for day. And then when you go to preview, you know, you can do stuff um, and see what the total at minimum will be. So that's pretty much all there is. It's very simple and it's a very handy technique, especially if you're day trading or something like that, or you don't have a time to keep an eye on your stocks, but you wanna kinda of keep momentum and do a little bit of safety in the background. So hope this kinda of briefly covers it for you guys. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Keep an eye out for this video coming up where I explain the two, the differences, and the advantages that you can use between each method. Remember to like the video, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.